Hey there, welcome to Takeoff Tuesday, and today I'm going to show you how I draw my jobs out in Measure Square, and it's probably a little bit different than what you're expecting, so let's get to it. All right, so we have our plan here. So first things first, I'm going to pull the dimension and check scale, because if that's wrong, then nothing anybody shows you is going to matter. Hold that work for nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up, just so whoever's... Reviewing the takeoff can go ahead and see at a glance that yes, you did check scale. So, all right, so first off, probably the way, and the way I've seen it the most is, especially on a job like this, which is kind of why I picked it because it lays out pretty well, you're gonna use this draw rectangle tool and come through and do it like this, right? So you go through and you can do most of these with that tool and you go back in and probably free draw the uh, the inside right well I'm not gonna do it that way that's a bold oh. choice right so the way I'm gonna do it is so I'm gonna come up here to draw and I'm gonna do all the commands through the menus the best way to do all this is to set up hotkeys and I'll probably do a video on that later but I'm gonna show you show you the, the steps to go through and find them on the menus. So I'm gonna start here in the corner and I'm just gonna go around and draw the perimeter of the whole space. A little bit off, let's hit that again. It's hard with this yellow dot to actually see what's going on. Well, whose fault is that? All right, so now we get to this spot and you've got a couple of different ways you can attack areas like this. So first option is you just run through it, right? And then you come back and add some points later. Second is you can trace around it just like this. And another way is you can come and drop these points and then come back later and pull it down. So I'll circle back in just a minute and address those two that we that we skipped. So but we're just gonna keep drawing around the perimeter of this job. And I do this for every job. This is the first thing I do is I'll go ahead and trace around the perimeter. And if you use measure square, you know how good it is about being able to drag. So right now I'm nothing, I'm holding down the mouse key and I can drag ahead and kind of keep my place too. And it's really nice. So did you think you would spend all day doing takeoffs and then come watch somebody do takeoffs? Are we having fun yet? There we go. Then we just complete. So you can click here a couple different ways. You can finish it. You can hit return. Either way works. All right. So now we have our space, right? So the way I do it now is then I have this and then I go back in and draw all the internal walls. And so we're gonna come up here to room edit and we're gonna go to draw wall. And again, a hotkey would be the move for this. So the way you do this is you wanna draw it out in chunks. So I don't wanna draw like this room and then this room and then this room. I wanna draw this whole space out at one time. Okay, so I have the I have the perimeter of this space, I have a bigger space, and then I can go in and do the smaller spaces, right? And same rules apply, you can see how it lights up green when you're ready to go. So this does take a little bit of extra planning, kind of seeing how you're gonna split up the space. So for this one, I'll probably go through here and separate this out, and then I have a wall to build off to go finish this out, right? So that's kind of the way you're gonna, you need to look at it. So when I have those and then I can hit here and then I have this wall. Of course it would make more sense to show you, right? Instead of pretending to draw these out. So let's do that real quick. You think? So, so you see how I have those big spaces out. So now I have a wall here. So I can go ahead and come on and zoom in a little bit. Enhance. And hit that one. And then I have a wall here to separate that, right? So hopefully that makes sense. But that's that's the way I try and attack it. Sometimes you have a space like this where there's really not a good way to do it all at once. So you kind of just do your best. But the, the bigger chunks that you can take at a time, the easier it's going to be. So I'll probably just go around and then we'll come back and add that wall. 
later. So now that I have this wall, I can come down here. And do that, right? So hopefully that makes sense. So now we'll go back and we'll add these other internal walls that I skipped over while I was talking. Talk, talk, talk. So the reason I like this is I found it to be faster than doing the rectangles, the draw rectangles, and then and then going back and free drawing the interior spaces. Obviously that is going to depend on the estimator. Some of you are probably really fast doing it that way. Um, I started doing it that way because I used Calidus before this and that was just similar to how Calidus worked to draw it out room by room like that. Um, I had a coworker that showed me this way and I have not looked back since. <laughs> so this is a good spot here to show you what can happen sometimes. Sometimes if you don't get these lined up right, you're going to have extra points. You see how normally on a wall you'll have three, right? In three, the perfect number. So you'll have a corner, a middle, and end. See right here, we have an extra one. So I'll come back in a minute and show you how to get rid of those. That really only happens where you have that, I had that open space, right? So I, I had to line this up to go here. And this is going to be the same here. Oh, so I'm going to go back to draw hotkey. Nope, wrong one. Hotkey there. It's hard to remember how to do these by the menu when you never use the menus. Does that happen to anyone else when you're trying to explain things to people and then you can't remember where everything is because you're not, you haven't used the menus in forever? You can actually do this, right? And so this is another one, so you have extra points. So these are easy to get rid of. This is going to be another one. And you'll learn where those spots are going to be ahead of time. And let's get this little, see it did it again. This little wing wall here. Click off. Oh, I forgot. Let's go back down here. You guys are supposed to remind me. Let's just remind ourselves here. That so we had this one. We dropped the points, right? So we have this point and this point. So we can come back and just drop that down. So this one we ran through. So what we need to do. Is split this so we're gonna drop those points here so now we have the three right so then we can take this middle and drag it down so that's the same thing this is what reminded me the same way you're gonna do this column here so we'll go back and hotkey we get a do those click off and then we can drag and do it just a little bit up and the way to do this just like drawing the internal walls, if you can batch this and do, say you had a bunch of spots like that, or you had multiple like this, do them all at once with that tool and then go back and make your adjustments. So it's just easier than switching tools back and forth all the time as, as I imagine most of you have discovered already. So, all right, so let's go back up here. We have these extra points in here. So the way you wanna get rid of this is delete wall segment. So, and there's a method to the madness of getting rid of these. And you can see the spots that you would click on here, are this very fancy diagram that I drew. So I'm going to double click and see, now we're good there. Click off and you can see, so those went away. Now let's back up. If you click on the wrong side, let's go back here. So you'll lose that point, but it'll it'll throw your room out of whack. Obviously, you can drag and fix it, but we don't want to do that. So there you go. And there were a couple more, right? Yeah, I think this that's good. And I think we had one more. Okay, so now that's all good. So, and like I said, you'll you'll know what spots to look for. It's really where there's there's not a, a clean run from wall to wall. You'll get that sometimes if, if it's not lined up properly, but it's really easy to go through and and delete that wall segment 
Um, another way, of course, you can't tell now because I fixed them all, but a way to kind of do it is select everything and you can kind of just spot check the walls real quick and see, I mean, you can see the points, right? So if it's got more than three, obviously you need to, to make those adjustments. So that's a quick way, but the more you use this method, the more you're going to know what spots to check without having to do this. So it gets to be second nature and, and you're not even going to think about it once you're, you're used to drawing this way. So I think that looks good. We'll go ahead and stop there. So I would love to hear what you guys think of this and maybe the best method that you found to draw your projects out. So leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and we'll see you next time.